welcome back to my channel I want to give a quick shout out thanks so much for being the first to comment on my last video so we're gonna start off and we're gonna start by sizing our nails I'm using my square extra short soft gel full cover nail covers um, I do sell these in my Etsy shop and as always the link is down below these are probably my favorites they're also my best seller because the sizing is just perfect and here I'm giving you a side view but I'm somebody that works in an office I type a lot so if you're somebody that has a day-to-day -day that doesn't allow you to do long nails to do long nails these are perfect for you so I'm just going in and sizing them making sure that the full nail covers fit wall to wall So we're going to apply some Beatles Poly Gel today, and this is in color 94. It's crazy because on the bottle, the color mark is like purple, but it's actually a really pretty pink. And for our slip solution, we're going to be using alcohol. This is 70% alcohol. I also got that Dappen Dish from TJ Maxx. It's actually not supposed to be a Dappen Dish. It's supposed to be something for candles, I think, but I just improvised. <laughs> So now we're gonna begin application. This is super easy. Um, it really takes me not sped up 10 minutes or less to do this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mention a few tips. I'm gonna just mention a few tips throughout this part, but it's very self-explanatory. You just wanna make sure that your cuticle area is flushed and thinner than the rest of your nails. It's all trial and error. You'll figure out the sizing and the amount of poly gel that should go in each nail. But if you do have too much like I do, then you can just take it out. And it's super easy. All I do is pat it on and apply the nail. If some poly gel oozes out around the cuticle area, you want to make sure that you clean that up beforehand before putting that in your UV lamp to cure. And also... Um, I'm probably going to show you soon, but I do flip the nail and pat underneath so it's flat and not bulky. So yeah, this is super easy. The first time I did poly gel, I did it without full nail covers and it was super difficult. Once I started doing it with full nail covers, life became just too easy. So as you can see, I didn't cure my pinky nail. I'm just gonna go in and do my second finger. And I'm doing this to help eliminate the time that my hand is in the UV lamp. I used to sell fingerless gloves and I will be bringing them back to my Etsy shop. Sometimes I forget to put them on, um, but I always do use sunscreen. So you can use either both or one or the other, but you wanna make sure that you know, you're know you protecting your hands some way because if you do your nails often like me, the UV LED lights can be very damaging and it can cause your hands to age prematurely. So make sure you're protecting your hands. But as you can see, I went ahead and did three fingers and I believe I'm gonna go in and cure now, but it just helps eliminate you know the time your hand is in that lamp if you do multiple fingers at one time. And it also makes the process so much faster rather than doing one, applying it in the lamp to cure and then doing the next. It just reduces the amount of time and makes this process go super quick. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna sit back and let you guys watch me finish off my nails.
All right, so after those are done, we're gonna go in with this pump and these lint-free wipes that I purchased from Shein. Shein has some really inexpensive and nice nail supply tools. It's definitely worth giving a go and trying them out. I'm gonna be using an 8080 grit file that I purchased off of Amazon. These are linked down below in my Amazon storefront. I only use 8080 grits now because they're honestly the best. Typically in you know kits you get 100, 180 grit nail files, but if you go to 8080, it just makes filing so much more sharp and crisp. So I definitely recommend you know trying those instead. But I'm just gonna go in and file my nails. If you like more of a rounded tip, then you know you can leave the full nail covers how they kind of are. They have like a slight rounded tip, but still give that square shape. Today I was going for a super square tip, so I'm going in and I'm really just making sure that the top part of those nails are very squared off and that the corners are very sh nice and sharp and not rounded. So that's all I'm doing. You know, if you have troubles using your file and your e-file to make the perfect shape, you're definitely going to want to try full cover nail covers, full gel nail covers because they make shaping so much easier. That was my biggest problem when I started doing nails with shaping because application and everything was easy, but when it came to shaping them, oh my gosh, it was a disaster. So these just make life so much easier. So here's what they're looking like. Super sharp, love them. I'm just gonna go ahead and dust them off. I believe I got this duster from TJ Maxx, so. Now I'm gonna go ahead and top off my nails. I'm using Model One's top coat. This is probably my favorite top coat because I love the brush. Only thing is, it is not a no wipe top coat and I wish it was. And to top it off, the last and final step, this is my favorite. I'm just gonna go in with my cuticle stick and apply this to my cuticles. This I do sell in my Etsy shop as well. Today I'm using the scent Strawberry, one of my favorites. And as always, the link is down below. So here are the final results. Super cute, super simple. I love, this. I love these nails and I love the shape. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.